Guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to import custom Pokemon to your Pokemon games on your R4 card. So this works on pretty much every Pokemon game that you could get on the DS. So I will be using the Stargate 3DS for this video, but you can use any R4 card at all because all you need to do is modify save files. So what you need to do is just put your R4 in your DS. Make sure you have a Pokemon ROM on here. I'm going to be using a Pokemon Diamond. So over on your DS or 3DS, simply just launch up your R4 card and then you just want to go ahead and just launch your Pokemon game of choice. Now you don't have to have played this before, you could get a completely new game you never played, but you just want to launch it up. Now as you guys can see, I have already got some progress, that's fine, I'm just going to press A and just create a new save file. So once we are on our game, the first thing we want to do is just press X, go down to save, press X, and would you like to save the game? Um, yes. Uh, just overwrite the save file, and then it should start saving. That is literally it. Now a save file will be created on our SD card. So now we can go onto our PC and modify the save file. So we're just going to power off my DS. You can now take out your R4 card, take out your R4's SD, and connect this to your computer. Right guys, so over on your computer, I will leave a link to Pokegen in the description of this video. And here you can see are the compatible games. So we've got Pokemon Black 2, White 2, Black and White, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, Platinum, Diamond and Pearl. I'm going to be using a Pokemon Diamond. So let's just go ahead and just click the download button and it will begin at downloading the Pokegen zip file for us. So once that has finished downloading, you can simply go over to your PC's downloads folder and just find the zip file in here. So just double click on the zip file and then simply just double click on the pokegen.exe so it's going to open up just like this it's actually a very simple program but the first thing we want to do make sure our r4's sd card is connected to our pc go up to file and just click on open now you should select your r4's sd card and just find your pokemon games save file it should end in .sav and if you have a look at the type it should say uh, sav file so just click on open on this as you can see i selected pokemon diamond now what it's going to do is show me all of the pokemon which i actually have so what i'm going to do is i'm going to generate some pokemon first of all i'm just going to remove these pokemon i have right now i was testing this out earlier just to confirm it works so i'm just going to right click each one and just do delete so here's my turtwig just my starter pokemon and what i'm going to do is i'm going to start adding pokemon so we need to actually kind of just configure some settings here first of all we need to choose the pokemon we want i'm going to choose a gengar so you can just type it in and just find it like that if you wish to give it a nickname you can enter that in in here so you can give it a nickname if you want i'm just going to give it a minor random nickname i'm just going to put some random characters in some japanese ones so you don't have to give it a nickname by the way now experience um you can enter in here if you want but what i'm going to do is just enter in the level i'm going to put my gengar at level 80 and it's just going to put in the experience automatically nature you can choose what you want it to be i'm just going to choose brave then we've got an item which it can be holding um let's just choose some random thing like a berry Happiness, uh, I believe you can just enter in some numbers in here. Oh, so it has to be up to 255. So let's just put 255 in there. Uh, you've got abilities here as well. Uh, you can just put, you can put some stuff in here if you want to. Let's just put cute charm in. Country, so this is like where it will show you got it from. I'm just going to choose uh, Japan on this one. Origin, um, you can choose what game this is from. I'm just going to choose Diamond. And you can have a shiny leaf if you want to. I'm just going to put a crown. So you can choose male or female. If it's shiny, you can tick this box right here. Next, we're going to go on to the met. So this is like you can choose like what ball it was caught in and stuff like that. And the level when you caught it. Uh, let's just choose a random ball. Let's choose a heel ball for this one. Um, you can choose where you caught it as well. Let's just choose, I don't know, we can choose anything really. Uh, Fateful Encounter, you can enable that. I'm not really sure what it does. I think it should tell you. Oh, so it sometimes can trigger a special events in the game, so why not? Now we've got stats. Um, what I like to do is just click on random IVs. Obviously, you can send it to really good IVs if you want to, uh, but it's entirely up to you, really. 
Um, attacks as well. This is where we can put in attacks. We should be able to put in anything we want. Okay, so I got Dream Eater, Air Cutter, Flamethrower, Aquatel, some random stuff, and you can set all of these so they do a lot of damage. So now, once we've done that, there is one left, and that is OT slash MISC. Um, you can add just markers and stuff and ribbons. It's, it's up to you. This bit is a bit random, but you can add stuff if you want to. Let's just put a, um, where is it? Let's just put a heart on this one. So once you've got it set up, what you can actually do is simply go over to your starting Pokemon, right click, and then just do set. Now what this is going to do is place Gengar with our starters. You can also do this in your box on your PC. You can put in as many as you want. And when you want to unselect them, you simply just left click. So right click set and then just left click to get off them. So let's just put some other random Pokemon in. I'm just going to change this to, let's do Gyarados. Let's put that in as well. It will keep all the same moves until you change it. And let's also do a um, Charizard in here, a shiny Charizard. And let's also set that. So yeah, that is literally it. We have now got it working. Now what we need to do is actually save the save file. So go up to File, um, Save Save File As. Now what you need to do is just overwrite it. You know, you can keep a backup of your original if you wish to, but I'm simply just going to click on Save. Would you like to replace it? Click on Yes. And that is literally it. So we're now going to go back onto our DS and let's see if we've got these custom Pokemon. Alright guys, so over on your Nintendo DS, all you want to do is just launch up your R4 card. So now we just want to launch up our Pokemon Diamond game. And we're just going to select our current save file. So hopefully our Pokemon should be added right now. If we just press on X, go up to Pokemon. You guys can see that we have got all of them on here. So let's just do a switch. Let's just put our Gengar that we recently got um, in our first slot. And let's try and get into a wild battle. So there you go guys. We've got our shiny Gengar. We should be able to use our custom moves as well like Flamethrower. And then there you go. It should be a one hit kill. So that is pretty much it for this video. That is how you import custom Pokemon to all of the decent Pokemon games um, for DS. And yeah, it's pretty cool seeing as you can do it on your R4 card. This is basically what you used to do um, on action replays, but they're a bit obsolete now and people don't really seem to use them. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.